Hey, you got here fast. I got a surprise for you. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the times actors insisted on dropping trow on camera. It's gonna be nothing but short, short skirts around the house. Number 10, Anya Chalotra, The Witcher. This is not what you came for. I came for you. Netflix's The Witcher was a huge hit when it premiered in 2019. One of the biggest breakout stars from it has to be Anya Chalotra as Yennefer of Vengerberg. And no, it's not just because Chalotra opted to film her nude scenes. The female lead and love interest to the title character Yennefer naturally had multiple revealing scenes in the first season. I was right about you. You do know something of pleasure. Fleeting. But highly effective, I'll admit. In an interview with the British newspaper Metro, Chalotra admitted to using a body double in the character's first intimate moment. However, she quickly became uncomfortable with anyone else portraying Yennefer, deeming it all still acting. From there, Chalotra stepped up to film her nude scenes, and we're sure certain viewers did not complain. Toss a coin to your witcher, oh valley of penis, oh god! Number 9, Chris Pratt, Parks and Recreation. In a season 2 episode of this fan favorite sitcom, Chris Pratt's Andy Dwyer misreads a signal from his ex Anne after she invites him over to her house. Thinking they're getting back together, Andy arrives completely naked. I said, hey Andy, it's Anne, can we talk at my house? That's not how you said it, you were like, hey Andy, it's Anne, can you talk at my house? Oh my god, you're such a baby. It's a funny moment as Amy Poehler's Leslie is the one to open the door, but Pratt didn't feel like he was getting the best response from Poehler and Rashida Jones. I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> drop my trow as an improv. <laughs> um, she'll open the door and then that will be the take that they'll use, right? By the way, it is the take that they <laughs> Instead of another take with the approved nude boxers, Pratt opted to do the stunt for real. One reaction Pratt didn't anticipate was that of NBC, which wrote him a very stern rebuking of his actions for not getting consent from cast and crew. It said, first of all, this is not a joke. You're being reprimanded. This is this is the last warning. It can't happen again. And also, we don't want you going around and talking about this letter like it was something, some kind of joke. <laughs> well, there wasn't much behind the scenes fallout. We have to agree with the network. Number eight, Kate Winslet, Ammonite. Mary, my Mary, I can't believe you're here. How was the journey? I wish you would have let me send a carriage. Feels a very long way from mine. Since as far back as the 90s, Kate Winslet has shown her dedication to her roles, even if it means doing things other actors would find uncomfortable. So it comes as no surprise that she reportedly turned down using a body double for this 2020 romantic drama. Your proposition makes me feel like some fancy bird in a gilded cage. In the film, Winslet plays real-life paleontologist Mary Anning, depicting Anning's supposed relationship with geologist Charlotte Murchison. Winslet naturally had multiple intimate scenes with co-star Saoirse Ronan and jumped at the chance to be her real 40-something self post-children. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, she also said that she didn't shrink or change herself for the sake of being naked, but rather the opposite. We, for one, can definitely respect that. Bet. Might that wait till the morning? Father would turn in his grave if he thought I'd gone to bed without cleaning his tools. Night. Number 7, Joseph Morgan, Titans. Actors often work hard to get into shape for a role, and if part of that training is for a nude scene, why shouldn't they get to show off if they want to? <laughs> Actor Joseph Morgan stepped into some big shoes when he joined the live action Titans series in season 4 to play the iconic villain Brother Blood. Midway through the season, the character has a dramatic and fitting appearance as he steps out of a pool of blood with nothing covering him but the red substance. Your transformation is now complete. Morgan told TV Line that he was offered a double, but turned it down to make his training all the more worthwhile and do the comics moment justice on screen. Let's just hope for him, though, it was corn syrup. Come, we must prepare for the journey ahead. What's next? Next, we bring back your father. Number 6, Hugh Jackman, X-Men Days of Future Past. While Titans is a streaming show, you really don't expect nudity in a big screen superhero adaptation. But thanks to Hugh Jackman, we got it. Basically, your body will go to sleep while your mind travels back in time. As long as you're back there, past and present will continue to coexist. But once you wake up, Whatever you've done will take hold and become history. In this generation bridging sequel, Jackman's iconic Wolverine has his consciousness traveled back in time to 1973, precisely to a moment where he awakes next to a beautiful woman. Jackman was asked by producers whether Wolverine would be wearing boxers or briefs to bed. 
but Jabin explained that if the mutant had done the dirty deed the night before, he'd be all natural. And what happened to your clothes? My, oh. Would you believe me if I told you I was sent here from the future? So they filmed the scene of Wolverine looking at himself in the mirror, with Jackman bearing it all. Well, technically Jackman wore a green sock in case they had to digitally erase, well, you know. Obviously it's PG-13, so you can't have bits and pieces flying about, right? Yeah, the censors in America don't like that kind of stuff. Number five, Jennifer Lawrence, Red Sparrow. For some actors, nude scenes can unfortunately make them feel objectified and boxed in. For others, it can conversely be liberating, which is thankfully what Jennifer Lawrence experienced while filming Red Sparrow. Can I trust you? I promise you can. In 2014, Lawrence and several other celebrities had their privacies breached when nude photos made their way online, which Lawrence called unbelievably violating. When Lawrence was offered the lead role in the spy film Red Sparrow, she leaped at the opportunity. Don't look at her. I want to watch you do it. Director Frances Lawrence, no relation, gave her final say about any sexually explicit material, but Jennifer Lawrence left it all in. In fact, the latter Lawrence later stated how the experience had her feeling empowered. They all went in at like three in the morning to set up heaters because it was like a very Hungarian winter and I was always complaining about being cold. And so I came in and it was like so toasty and warm. And I was like, what are you doing with this heat? My nipples are gonna be huge. <laughs> if there's any actor's enthusiasm regarding nudity we can get behind, it's Lawrence's. Number four, Ken Jeong, The Hangover. Physician turned actor Ken Jeong already had a few film roles prior to 2009's The Hangover, but his infectious energy ensured that this would be the one he'd be remembered for. And it all started with this scene. What was that? It's in the trunk. The trunk, the trunk, the trunk. At one point, the wolf pack opens a car trunk hoping to find their missing friend, only to be attacked with a crowbar by a naked stranger. This isn't your fault. Hi, I'll get you some pants. The scene wasn't originally written with nudity in it, but seeing a golden opportunity, Jung suggested it to director Todd Phillips, whom Jung later recalled responding, you don't have to tell me twice. I pitched it to the director Todd Phillips, do you, what, do you think I could be naked in this scene? He goes, you don't have to tell me twice. And he literally made me sign a way, he knew, a, he made me sign something. You put something. nudity in your clothes. Yeah, yeah, he literally made me sign something 30 minutes so I wouldn't change my mind because he knew that would be the right thing for the movie. Just like that, one of the most hilariously surprising movie moments was born. A few scenes later, and Jung's portrayal of Mr. Chow made him a bona fide comedy star. Why when I come after you guys, he start screaming like crazy and throw me in a trunk, huh? No. Well, I did that? Yeah, you said he was your lucky charm and you want to take him home with you. <laughs> <laughs> lucky charm. Oh, it's just funny. <laughs> Number three, Emma Stone, The Favorite. It doesn't get any more improvised than Emma Stone's decision while shooting The Favorite. In Yorgos Lantimos' historical comedy, Stone plays Abigail Hill, who vies with her cousin Sarah to be the titular favorite to Olivia Colman's Queen Anne. You're so beautiful. Stop it, I, you mock me. I do not. If I were a man, I would ravish you. Ravish. Enough. The film plays on the speculation that Anne had affairs with both women, and at one point, Rachel Weisz's Sarah catches Abigail sleeping in bed with the Queen. As Stone later recalled, they'd done a few shots with a sheet covering her, at which point she thought being exposed would work as Abigail's dig against Sarah. Oh my god, you actually think you have won. Haven't I? Coleman tried to dissuade Stone from doing it, but Lantimos trusted her instincts, marking the actor's first ever nude scene. And as far as the story is concerned, it works. Apologies again, Your Majesty. What happened to your dress? Wolves. Number two, Jason Siegel, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Male nudity is far less common than that of the female variety, and it's the expectation not to see the whole package that makes this scene so funny. In the film's opening sequence, Jason Siegel's Peter greets his TV star girlfriend with a little show, but she isn't there for fun times. She's there to break up with him. Peter, as you know, I love you very much. Are you breaking up with me? Just when we're used to little Peter being off screen, Big Peter drops his towel and we see everything. Why don't you just put some clothes on, okay? I'm not gonna go put clothes on. I know what that means. If I put clothes on, it's over. Siegel, who also wrote the movie, based the sequence on a real life dumping he experienced that he really was naked for. Well, Siegel said he, unlike Peter, did put on clothes, he knew right then and there that it'd make for some choice comedy. And he wasn't wrong. So I went into my bedroom and then I spent like, 25 minutes picking out an outfit. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> I'm, like, up outfit. Yes. I'm like kicking shirts off and throwing them on the ground, then trying pants on that don't quite fit right. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Margot Robbie, The Wolf of Wall Street Jordan, this is my friend Naomi. Hi. Naomi. Nice to meet you. One of the biggest names in Hollywood today, Margot Robbie was actually one of the cast's smallest come The Wolf of Wall Street's release back in 2013. But couple a tremendous performance with a jaw-dropping sex scene, and it's no wonder that she stood out among the high-profile cast. We're gonna be friends? Yeah. You wanna be my friend? We're not gonna be friends. In a movie that's wall-to-wall -wall excess, Naomi and Jordan's first tryst is no different. You wanna come up for some tea or something? Tea? Yeah. Like hot tea. When Naomi wants to make clear her intentions, she presents herself to Jordan wearing nothing more than stockings and heels. Director Martin Scorsese reportedly offered to scale back the nudity, but Robbie insisted, claiming that's exactly what Naomi would do in that situation. It's a testament to Robbie's acting prowess that this moment already ranks relatively low among her career highlights. Uh, my mom saw it. She came to the premiere, so I was sitting next to her, and she saw it. I actually tried to cover her eyes when um, the nude bits happened, um, but she pushed my hand away. She was like, go, that'll be fine. And I was like, mm -hmm. Which of these scenes surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Stop laughing. <laughs> Can you please stop laughing? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.